in this video we take a look at how to create the famous gradient circle logo in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody my name is innocent and welcome to the channel if this is your first time over here we do photoshop tutorials and tech videos if that's something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so there has been this particular logo design that it's going around on TikTok and on Instagram and I am going to show you how to do that in Photoshop. Mostly people are using Illustrator to do it. So let's see how we do that in Photoshop. Now the first thing we're going to do is to create a document of any size that you want. Preferably you have to make sure that it is huge because for logo designs the resolution has to be a bit huge, right? So we are going to create a 5000 by 4000 pixels and with a resolution of 300 of which you can increase it if it is too much for you and then we go ahead and click on create so we are going to make use of the shapes in photoshop to do this so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go for the ellipse 2 the circle 2 if you want to call it that way now what we do is we hold shift and left click to create a perfect circle like this one now this will depend on how big you want your logo to look like okay so something like this would do now what we can do here is that we can go to the fill here and then we're going to set the fill to zero percent and then we will right click on this go to the blending options and we are going to give it a stroke so we go to the stroke over here and we can give it a stroke of 10 that i've set already over here and then we can go ahead and click on ok now again like i said because shapes are vectors if you even resize it it is not going to really affect the resolution of the shape so that is why we are making use of the shapes here now after we're done with this we press ctrl a and then we are going to make sure that we center it both horizontally and vertically and then we are going to right click on this go to convert to a smart object so that when we close it up again we are not going to lose the quality so after this we press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we press ctrl t and then we can make sure that we resize it to about this size depends on how you want it again and then you can double click on it now make sure that you open this one up and then you take your time to reposition it to fill the center like this so you can as well use the alignment over here to make sure that it is centered aligned and then the lines is touching the very edge of the bigger circle that we are using so this is how the first one is going to look like after us you're going to make one more duplicate ctrl j and then we drag that also to touch the very bottom of the bigger circle over here so this is exactly what we are having currently now we can select all of these press ctrl g to group them now if the spaces here are okay for you you can actually move on to the next step if it isn't you can group all of them and then you resize it to be smaller that depends on how you want how big you want your logo to be like so from here what we're going to do next is we're going to make constellations now this is where using illustrator makes it easier for you because for photoshop you're going to need to do a couple of things so we're going to select all of these ones right click and then we are going to rasterize the layers so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where we want the gradient to be so let's assume that we want it from here to this particular point and that means that anything that is around here we are going to get rid of that and also we are going to need to get it from this point this version up to this point so that means that any line crossing this area we are going to get rid of it so we are going to be left with this line only and this particular line over here so we are going to get rid of this and this particular lines i hope that is clear now let's undo what we just illustrated and if you want to get rid of this line of course you have to go to the layer so select that particular layer that has the circle so this is the ellipse right over there and then we are going to zoom in very well like this choose our eraser to make sure that the hardness is 100 percent and then we can delete this part so it joins right over here and then we can delete up to this particular point now if you are if you were to be doing this in illustrator you could have simply used the shape builder to to get this done let me know in the comment section if you'd want to see this done in illustrator as well also i'll leave a link to the instagram post that did this in illustrator so you can check it out 
so once we've gotten rid of this one we can then move ahead and get rid of this one as well so we can right click over here to select that particular ellipse this one and then we do the same thing for this particular one so we are going to zoom in choose the eraser tool and then we delete this point like that and then we are going to delete it like this so something as simple as that so you make sure that you delete up to the line that joins this particular huge circle and now once we have this this is the shape that we actually need the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill this particular shape with the gradient colors so in order to do that we're going to select all of this one now that we have our shape built we can select all of this one press ctrl g to group that and then we are going to make a duplicate the reason why we do this is so we have the skeleton or the sketch already there so that anytime we want to come back to make changes we can easily come back to that i hope that makes sense so once you have this you're going to right click and then you are going to convert this to a smart object so that it will become just one skeleton so now we have just one and then we are going to add a new layer that we are going to apply the colors to so underneath of this particular so we can rename this one let's quickly rename this one as sketch and then underneath of this one we are going to add a new layer and call it the color so something like that so what we're going to do from here is we're going to select the portion that we want to apply the color and then fill it with the gradient on the color layer so the first thing is we go to the sketch layer here and then we can make selection using anything like the magic one two selection and then we can select it from here so you see it selects all of this part now once this part is selected you quickly go to your gradient and then you go and choose the gradient that you want to use we can go for something like this one we are just using the two two colored gradient presets for this one you can choose any color at all and then once you're done you click ok here and you're not going to apply the gradient on this particular because you even realize from here that it is not working that is why we made it a smart object so you can't apply the color on this particular layer you need to come to the second layer over here and then with your gradient this is the gradient tool so you are going to make the gradient from let's say this point to this point right over there you can as well go from this side to this side it depends on where you want the colors to be but we want where it, it looks darker to come at the very inside so we're going to go something like this now after you're done you're going to press ctrl d to deselect this one go back to your sketch go and pick your magic one tool again and then we are going to make the selection for the other side and then we go back and pick the gradient tool select our color again and since we went from this side to this side this time around we go from this side to this particular side and this is how it is going to be like afterwards you're going to press ctrl d to deselect it and now you have your design your logo design the last thing you do is at this point you can go back to the sketch over here and then you can turn off the sketch and this is what we have we've created a very simple circle gradient logo in photoshop now the beauty of this is you can come back to the color over here so this time around this becomes the logo and then you can use the control u that is the hue and saturation if you don't like the colors you can use the hue and saturation to slightly turn it around like this one and then you can choose from any of the colors that you want so you can go from this i think this is very nice for me so something like this and then you are good to go from here you can right click on this and convert it to a smart object so that when you resize it it is not really going to affect the resolution over here and then you can go ahead and add test to this if you so want to additionally you can come back to the background over here go to the the adjustment layer here and then you can add a new solid color if this is not what you want let's bring it down here so we can have a black background like this you can give it any color at all that you really want to give it and then you can as well turn off all of these ones so that you have the png version of this one that is it is going to be transparent anywhere you send it and yeah that'll be all for this video i hope you gained value out of this if you did subscribe to the channel will be so very appreciated thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye